Hi Girl Scout Daisies, it's Mrs. Lori, and I'm really excited to help you complete step three of earning your Money Counts Leaf. The last time that we met, we completed steps one and steps two of earning your Money Counts Leaf. So today we're gonna do a little bit of review of what we learned in steps one and two, and then we're gonna create a fun activity or a fun project today. We're gonna to complete a project um, to help you share what you've learned and to earn your money counts leaf. So to review, some things that we've learned so far are the difference between coins and bills, and we learned about pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters and the value of each of those. And then we talked about paper money or bills. And we talked about how many coins make up a $1 bill. And then I encouraged you on your own to figure out what are the different ways that you can make $5 or even $10. And I even encouraged you to challenge yourself and maybe figure out how to make $20 or $50. So these are some of the things that we learned um, when we were working on steps one and two of earning our money counts leave. So today, as promised, I said that we were going to work on making our very own budget. So a budget is a plan you make when you need to save money to buy something or to do something. So I want you to think about an activity that you want to do, or maybe something that you really, really want to purchase or buy. And you can ask a family member to help you research how much your item cost, or they can help you write down how much it would cost to do certain things of that activity or certain parts of that activity. So today I'm going to do an example for you or I've created an example for you. And um, I'm excited about going to the movies. I know that when this quarantine is all over with, um, one of the first things I wanna do is go see a movie with my family. So I decided to create an imaginary budget about going to the movies. Um, and these are some of the activities or some of the pieces of that budget. I thought to myself, well, I would need to purchase tickets. Um, and I know that we love to eat popcorn. And we definitely want something to drink to go along with that popcorn. So then I researched and I figured out how much it would cost or about how much it would cost for each of these items. So all of this together is making my ultimate plan or budget on going to the movies. So for example here, I wrote down that tickets, they each cost $9. Well, then I thought I'm not the only one who wants to go to the movies. I know that my husband wants to go with me and my son wants to go with me. So that means that there's three people that each of their tickets are gonna cost $9. So I did nine plus nine plus nine. And I figured out that it would cost $27 for tickets for us to go see a movie of our choice. Then we're each gonna want some popcorn and that costs $5 each. And there's three of us, don't forget. So that's five plus five plus five. That's $15 for popcorn now. Then drinks cost $3 a person. There's three of us. So three plus three plus three is $9. And then I decided to add up the cost of all the activities or all the parts of this day out to the movies. So I added 27 plus 15 plus nine to get $51. So I'm gonna have to save $51 to make a trip out to the movies with my family. Now, this is just an example. I really, really want you to create your own budget based on all of the knowledge that we've learned. So I encourage you to get a notepad, a pen or a pencil, and possibly the help of a family member 
so that you can plan out your own budget and then actually do it. You can actually go to the store and buy the item um, of your choice or that you saved up for or go actually go out and do the activity that you planned. Um, another option or another um, item or resource that you could use to plan out your budget is some play money. Um, you could actually get out um, some fake uh, paper money or bills or coins to help you add up the total um, to help you figure out your budget. You could use a calculator. You could have a family member help you use a calculator to add everything up for the total cost. Um, or you could even use real money. Um, you could ask a, a family member um, or an older sibling to help you get out some um, paper bills and um, some real coins to help you to determine or figure out how much um, it would cost to actually complete your budget. Thank you for joining me today on completing step three of earning your money counts leaf. And hopefully you can successfully complete this on your own and um, go ahead and earn that money counts leaf. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon. Bye.